As with any product where fire and gas are in use, the companion also needs to be used under special care. Always use the heated companion in a well-ventilated area. Always run the stool on low heat as high heat can be dangerous and could result in serious burns, fire, or death. Metal parts get hot when using stove, heater, or lantern. Allow adequate cooling time before dismantling or switching positions. Take proper safety precautions for hours of pleasurable operation. If you have any questions after viewing this program, refer to the written instructions. Please remove your Campanion from its carrying case. Look at the end of your Campanion to make sure the colored seat is on the bottom. Lift the upper cover plate, then the oval arm plate inside. Remove the heating element, heat deflector, lantern mantle, butane valve, and mantle post. Turn the unit over and open that side. Remove the seat and the reflector mirror. Unfold the cover plates. These will become your seat legs. Lock both legs into position with the leg lock clips. Unroll the seat and place one of the seat pins in the groove at the end of the lower oval arm. Stretch the seat to the upper oval arm and lock it into place. If the distance between the two oval arms is too wide, put pressure on the upper arm until the seat pins fit. The standard stool is now complete. Straddle the stool to sit on it. Turn the unit on its side. Snap the heat deflector into the place between the two frame support rods. Make sure the longer end is facing towards the cover plate. Put the butane valve on the outside of the frame and the heating element inside and screw them together through the center hole. Metal expands when it is heated, so it is very important to screw the valve and heating element together loosely or they may become stuck. Place the stool in its upright position and attach the Campanion isobutane fuel by screwing on clockwise. Always have a match lit before turning on the gas. Turn the valve counterclockwise to open the flow of gas and light it immediately. Keep the gas on high until the heating element turns orange. Then turn the gas down by turning the valve clockwise until only the inner part of the heating element is lit. Lay the unit on its side and remove the seat. Cover the heating element area with the oval arm. Now relight the heating element as instructed. The stove heat can be increased or decreased by adjusting the flow of gas. Unhook the leg lock clips and lift the cover plate to shield your cooking from the wind. Lock the cover plate and the leg lock clips into place. Stand the unit up. Make sure your heater is placed on level ground to prevent it from tipping over. For uneven ground or indoor conditions, unlock the leg lock clips. Open the cover plates so that they lie flat against the ground. Pull the back oval arm down so that it fits inside the rear cover plate. Make sure that the fuel can rests behind the unit while it is in use. Always use the indoor heater in a well-ventilated area. Remove the cooled heating components except the heat deflector. Push the cover plate and leg lock clips down to form a standing position. Raise the front oval arm. Take the double tied mantle and slip it over the center of the mantle post. Place the mantle post in the center hole of the frame and connect the valve and the fuel can. Pull down the oval arm in front to use as a cover. Light the mantle. Turn the fuel to the low position and burn the mantle until it is completely white. The rear oval arm can be lifted and used as a handle. Lantern mantles need to be replaced after each use. Start with the Campanion in its closed position. Lift one of the cover plates. Turn the unit over and dig. Lift a cover plate and an oval arm and slip the oval arm into the cradle of the cover plate. Use the tire chock teeth to grip the asphalt for additional support. Place the cover plate snugly against your tire. 
Lay the unit flat with both cover plates face down so that the frame and oval arms stand together in a straight up and down position. Clip the rivet on the road flare or the mirror into the opening in the oval arm. Tilt the frame to adjust the mirror angle for shaving or the reflector for signaling oncoming traffic. To put your unit back together, lay the unit flat in its original closed position. Open one side completely. Clip the rivet on the reflector into the hole on the oval arm. Check to see that the seat pins are on both ends of the folded seat. Hold the seat against the mirror and fold the oval arm down. Do not pinch the seat against the frame support rods. Turn the unit over and open that side. Put the mantle post and the butane valve between the frame support rods. Slip the mantle post under the support rod closest to the oval arm. Install the new mantle for the next use on top of the butane valve. Cover the accessories with the heat deflector. Point the end of the heat deflector under the support rod closest to the cover plate. Close the oval arm, then the cover. Insert your heating element at the opened end of your companion between the seat pins. Do not force any part into place. The companion is now ready for its carrying case. Campanion isobutane fuel and the Campanion propane valve with conversion hose are also available through your Campanion dealer. For additional information or replacement parts, call 1-800-531-CAMP for your nearest dealer.